Okay, so let me show you the kind of Gaussian elimination that we get in our lesson, okay? All right, so the, it's the same idea. You still have the pivot positions, okay, here, here. Really, the last pivot position, we don't care. The only difference is that we have zero on the right-hand side. One of the differences, not the only. So let's write down the augmented matrix, though. Negative 2, 1, slash, 0, 1, negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, negative 2, 0. Now, what you do first is, very first is, look at the first previous position and make sure, make sure that it's not zero. All right? So let's look at this. All right, so... The first pivot position is negative 2 and it's not 0. Okay, good. Now we want to create 0 and 0 here. Now here's the thing. If we want to create 0 at 1 here, you have to add negative 1. So that means you have to divide negative 2 by 2 and then you get negative 1 and then you add that to the 1. But let's be smart. What can you do? Swap R2 and R1. Then we automatically get 1. See, the pivot position we would like to have one at a pivot position that's the ideal okay that's the very ideal pivot position but if you cannot make it don't worry you can still work with fractions okay but if you can please do negative two one one zero so we switch swept the rows rows okay you could have swept row three and row one also okay doesn't matter you can still get the same answer all right, now to create 0 and 0 here, now our pivot position is perfect. That's perfect because it's 1. Of course, it's non zero. Now to create 0 at negative 2, we can multiply the first row by 2 and add it to the third row, imaginary. Okay, so 1, negative 2, 1, 0. Here, 0. So we multiply it by 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. Here, no matter what you do, it's 0, right? So that's the advantage. Now you want to create 0 at 1. What would you do? Well, subtract the first row from the third row, right? R3 minus R1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus minus 2 is 3. Be careful. Negative 2 minus 1 is minus 3, 0. So this is what we get. All right, now we go to the second pivot position because here it's zero. Now it should be non-zero. It would be ideal if we have one, but pause a minute and think. You need zero here. Do we really need one here? No, we have the ideal case, right? Because we can just add the second row and the third row, right? Now, if you add the second row and the third row, it's 0, negative 3, 3, 0. Here, 0. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 3 plus negative 3 is 0, 0. Okay, that's done. We go to the third pivot position, but we really don't care about it. I know it's 0. The third pivot position being 0, we don't care. That is what you always get in this course. Okay, if you did it correctly, if you did it correctly for this three, this kind of a 3 by 3 um, Gaussian elimination, you will always get a bunch of zeros on the very last row. Okay, all right. So if you like, if you like, this equation to be more beautiful you can divide the second row by three because you get zero negative one one zero because everything is a multiplied by three okay so we get this we can write this system of equations again as one negative two one zero negative one one zero 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 times k1 k2 k3 is equal to zero 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 now now i'm not gonna find k1 k2 k3 and everything because that's a discussion in future i know it seems to be like little weird but these the kind of uh, gaussian elimination we get in this course so let me do just another one more example okay it's very simple you just need the practice okay so let's say your system of equation is negative 9 negative 3 negative 3 3 negative 3 3 6 6 0 k1 k2 k3 yeah 0 0 0 all right so we well, let's write the augmented matrix negative 9 negative 3 3 0 3 negative 3 3 6 6 0 0 0 here you have to be tricky now if you look at this whole matrix whole augmented matrix it's 
are the factors of three right you can divide the whole matrix by three so then it's become easy negative nine minus three is negative three here this is becomes one this becomes one this becomes one this becomes one if you divide by three it become one this becomes two this becomes two zero divided by three is zero so this is another new way so you can simplify it always okay all right now we look at the first pure position it's negative three so it's a non-zero number good and for the very least it's good now what would you like to have we would like to have one there so can we swap and get that yes we can so let's just swap row two and row one because it's much easier so one negative one one zero negative three negative one one zero two two zero zero but if you are fine with working with fractions i mean you don't have to do that okay that's not a necessary step you can just work with negative three now you want to create zero here let's do this first let me show you how do you do this first you want to create zero here you want to create zero here so how do you create zero on this position you multiply the first row by three and add it to the second row three plus negative three is zero at the same time you want to create zero here so you will multiply the first row by negative two because negative two plus two is zero and add it to the third row so that is how you do two operations at first at once okay when you are get super comfortable with Gaussian elimination. One negative one one zero. Here zero. So you multiply this by this row by what? Three. Three times negative one is negative three. Negative three plus one is mm, plus negative one is negative four. Here three. Three plus one is four. Zero. Here now, here you multiply by negative two. Negative two plus two is zero. Negative two plus negative one is two. Two plus two is four excuse me 2 plus 1 is 2 2 plus oh negative 2 negative 2 plus 1 is negative 2 negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2 okay seems to be like we have done some kind of a mistake let's see uh yeah no never mind here i think it should be 2 here because Well, let's see. Let's see where is the mistake is coming from. We multiply this. This is negative one. Three negative one. The problem was wrong itself. Okay. All right. Yes. I didn't carry out this negative. So here negative. Okay. My bad. Here there was a negative originally. Okay. So it's just a difference. The doesn't matter. This becomes two. Okay. All right. So because uh, this is negative one. Okay. So then here. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. So this becomes 2. Okay, all right. Here 0. Now we are done with the first pivot position. Now we go to the second pivot position, which is negative 4. Now we would like it to be 1, but really we do we need, do we need 1? No, because we can just add this negative 4 to the third row and then you are done with it, right? 1, negative 1, 1, 0. Add this second row. To the third row 0 negative 4 2 0 0 negative 4 plus 4 is 0 2 plus negative 2 is 0 0 so well we are done we don't care about the third period position anymore so we are done so we can write rewrite the equation 1 negative 1 1 0 negative 4 2 0 0 0 times k1 k2 k3 is zero on the right hand side so this is the new equation i'm not gonna solve for k1 k2 k3 that's a different story okay just let let's learn how to do the gaussian elimination up to here so that is how you do the gaussian elimination in our course it will always comes very nicer and simple in our case okay best thing is practice makes you perfect so practice enough problems all right if there are enough problems in the note do the gaussian eliminations in the notes by yourself and compare the answers i have done enough problems in the videos so post the videos and try to do them by yourself uh, don't please don't use the internet to do these things because one day you have to do it by yourself maybe at homework maybe you use internet at homework but in the exam there's no internet for you okay all right thank you